operation. The uh, operation is today in its third week in terms of uh, uh, the uh, Arab campaign. It has uh, been uh, very, very successful, and in fact, it is proceeding uh, uh, beyond its t in initial, uh, ob uh, not objectives, but uh, goals. On Tuesday, Saudi Arabia announced Operation Decisive Storm, its nearly month-long air campaign against Houthi rebels in Yemen, was at an end with its objectives completed. But whether this is really a mission-accomplished moment for Saudi Arabia depends on how you look at it. The Saudi-led coalition began in late March, intending to roll back gains made by the Houthis and restore exiled President Abed Rabu Mansur Hadi to power. Houthis still control large swaths of Yemen, including its capital Sana'a, and President Hadi remains in exile in Saudi Arabia. But the airstrikes have been effective in degrading the Houthis' anti-air and other military capabilities. At the same time, they've gotten a lot of criticism for causing civilian casualties. The end of Operation Decisive Storm ostensibly meant the end of the airstrikes. And yet Houthis in one of Yemen's largest cities, Taz, were hit by airstrikes Wednesday after storming a Yemeni military base. While Saudi Arabia's newest operation, dubbed Renewal of Hope or Restoring Hope, will supposedly be more limited than Decisive Storm, the kingdom hasn't ruled out further airstrikes either. The operation is aimed at reaching a political solution rather than degrading Houthi military power. But Saudi Arabia says it will still counter any Houthi military operations that try to obtain more weapons from government forces in inside the country. Saudi diplomatic sources told the BBC that's why Houthis were targeted by airstrikes in Taz Wednesday, saying they broke a promise. According to the World Health Organization, as of April 17th, at least 944 people have been killed and almost 3,500 injured in Yemen since mid-March. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.